The Map by Ruba Kiwar Chapter 2 History of the Evangelical Fundamentalism Why Evangelical Exist? Evangelism for Christians is considered obligatory due to the passage found in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 16 to 17, where Paul says, For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for I am under compulsion, for woe is me if I do not preach the gospel, for if I do this voluntarily, I have a reward but if against my will, I have a stewardship entrusted to me. History of Evangelism Now let's delve into the history of the Christian missionaries more and see the effect they have on societies. Interestingly, evangelism is not a new thing. It's been there since the Old Testament. Jesus, peace be upon him, trained different groups of his disciples and sent them to go spread the gospel to the people. In Luke chapter 10, from verses 1 to 17, we read, Now after this the Lord appointed seventy others and sent them in pairs ahead of them to every city and place where he himself was going to come. And he was saying to them, The harvest is plentiful. But the laborers are few. Therefore beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go, behold, I send you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money, belt, no bag, no shoes, and greet no one on the way. Wherever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. If a man of peace is there, your peace will rest on him, but if not, it will return to you. Stay in that house, eating and drinking what they give you, for the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not keep moving from house to house. Wherever city you enter and they receive you, eat what is set before you and heal those in it who are sick and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whatever city you enter and they do not receive you, go out into its streets and say, Even the dust of your city, which chings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet be sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come near. I say to you, it will be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. The one who listens to you listens to me, and the one who rejects you rejects me, and he who rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. The disciples taught and trained others. Then the disciples of the disciples of Jesus, peace be upon him, were capable of going all over the world and teaching, such as Barnabas, Timothy, and Paul, and others. Evangelism continued and has continued up to our present time. At the end of the first century, the Jewish cities were destroyed and more than 101,000 of the Jewish people were left in exile by the Romans. At that time, Christianity had spread tremendously and great problems developed in the church. Such problems included the heresies which caused the church to be divided, heretics included, but not limited to where the Ebonites, Marcions, Gnostics, and the Patropicians, which evolved into what is called the Orthodox Church. Each sect claimed to be the truth, one of which were the pro-Orthodox who had stood up and defended their beliefs, and some of which were considered as martyrs. Martyrs such as Polycarp was burned to death in 67 to 156. Ignatius was eaten by the lions in the Roman theater 67 to 110. Orion 
160 to 220, defended the Trinity and was tortured to death. And Tertullian, 160 to 120, the father of the Latin Church. In 282, the Council of Nicaea convened and announced the statement of faith about their creation of the concept of the Holy Trinity. In the 3rd century, persecution increased at the time of the Emperor Ducius in 249 to 251. It continued to the time of Diocletian in 294 to 304. However, the Christian population increased to become 20%. And in 312, the emperor of Constantine, 306 to 337, gave the ultimate freedom to Christians and all the civilians could become Christians without exceptions. He then announced that the Roman colony was a Christian country and merged the concepts of religion and politics together. The Church of the Roman Orthodox was founded shortly after that. Saint Antonios, 251 to 356, became the father of the monks. Eusebius, in 263 to 339, was the father of the traditional church. Saint Athanasius, in 293 to 373, was the first to wear the monk's uniform. Ambrose, from 337 to 397 became the Patriarch of Milano. John Christus from 347 to 407 was the Patriarch of the Constantine. Jerome from 347 to 420 was the first translator of the Bible in the Latin language. And Augustine from 354 to 430 was a strong theologian. In the 5th century, Constantine had created a country of terror. The Romans fell, but this was only the beginning of the strong Christian campaigns. John Patrick sent many missions to Europe to call people to Christianity. In the 6th century, Fromentus and Idios moved as slaves to Ethiopia and were spreading Christianity and eventually founded the first Ethiopian church. During the same era, Leo the Great announced Rome to be the capital of the Catholic Church because the Apostle Peter had died there. There were to be five formal Christian colonies, the Romans, Orthodox, the Byzantines, the Catholics, Turkey, Nestorian, the Jerusalem and Alexandria, the Coptics. Gregory the Great sent Christian missionaries all over Europe to convert people to Christianity. In the 7th century, Islam began to spread. The divisions between the churches caused instability in the countries, resulting in battles between the Muslims and the Romans. These battles didn't forbid the spread of Christianity in India and China until the 10th century. The Anglo-Saxons made the campaign amongst the German churches in the 8th century, and the power of the traditional churches grew. Pictures of saints began to be hung on the walls during this time. In the Nicene congregation in the year 787, God alone was allowed to be worshipped, but the pictures in the churches were also allowed. There were no prior objections on these pictures until the division between the Orthodox and Catholic churches. In the 8th century, Islam was spreading all over northern Africa until it crossed over the sea and reached Spain. However, the Kingdom of Frank by Charles Myrtle pushed Islam away and kept the empire as a Christian empire for at least a thousand years until the arrival of Napoleon. The Byzantine Empire prospered and Russia converted to Orthodox Christianity. After seeing over seven congregations, the Orthodox Church finally divorced the Catholic Church in 1054 when they couldn't reach a reconciliation. 
Then the Catholic Church turned into a monster to be feared and attacked Jerusalem seven times. They had killed thousands of people during the Crusades. The bourgeoisie class had appeared and the gap between the classes in society became wider and wider. This was the introduction of capitalism. At the same time, Christian missions were sent to Asia and China. Meanwhile, the Bible was translated to different languages. Constantine Empire fell into the hands of Muslims, and a new era of persecution on the Christians carried out by the Catholic churches began. Peter Waldo and John Cliff were both killed, as well as John Huss and Girolano Savonarola, who were burned to death along with their students, who were also killed. The church started bringing false beliefs to Christianity, such as building the big Gothic churches, selling indulgence, and worshipping the Virgin Mary. In 1517, Martin Luther defended the Christian beliefs by answering 45 theological questions. The writings of Luther influenced many, which triggered them to protest against the Catholic practices. The Protestants finally appeared such as Zwingli from Switzerland, John Calvin, and the Anabaptists, which had been founded and called for the separation between politics and religion. Later, the Church of England had emerged at the hands of King Henry. In the 6th century, the laws of the Catholic churches were changed, and Christian missionaries were sent to North and South America, as well as Africa. Amongst these missionaries were Agricius Loyola and Francis Zanier. However, the Orthodox Church stopped the Catholic missions by forbidding them from speaking in various languages in the church, except Latin, which caused many protests to change the laws in the church. After the appearance of deism and atheism in Europe, John Wisely started calling people to Christianity around the time of the French Revolution. Evil began spreading more in the 17th century. The white man European immigrants were killing Native Americans and were enslaving people. Various groups of Christians immigrated to North America seeking religious freedom to escape their persecution from the Europeans. In the 18th century, Jonathan Edward triggered a great awakening. Robin Morrison was the first Protestant Christian missionary to be sent to China. Robin Morphed to Africa. William Carey to India. Hudson Taylor to China. Bross to Iran. Abraham Livingstone to Mid-Africa. Methodists in Argentina. Presbyterians in Korea, Baptists in the UK and India, Anglicans in Nigeria, and other denominations to the native islands. While Europe had lost over half of their church members and had closed many churches, turning them into places for trade or mosques, a new revival was happening in other parts of the world. And the missionaries started to increase in numbers. These denominations continued sending thousands of missionaries all over the world, relying on the people's receptivity and financial support. The International Mission Board, IMB, is considered the largest association specialized in sending Southern Baptist missionaries from the U.S. to all parts of the world. IMB sends at least 7,000 Christians worldwide yearly. After training them and placing conditions upon them, IMB assists the missionaries with health checkups, psychological testings, and placements. 
They also give care for the families of the missionaries by studying their personalities and capabilities to bear the hardships as well as taking the role of counseling. It is fascinating to see that the biggest evangelical church, Southern Baptist, started less than 200 years ago in a small church, Sandy Creek, and only had 16 members. Today it has growth to be over 70% of the churches in the U.S. The Southern Baptist Church is found all over the world now and is still very active in evangelism. In 1845, after a century had passed, the formation of the Southern Baptist Church, the Southern Baptist Convention, SBC, was found to organize the congregation, plant more churches, and evangelize the population. The SBC is an umbrella entity that covers all other associations and has two main evangelical boards located both locally and internationally. In the past, the foreign mission board worked in China and was later divided into three main departments. Later, the Lottie Moon organization was established for evangelizing women in northern China and was responsible to collect funds and gifts for children at Christmas. The Domestic Mission Board oversaw the care of the native Indians and the unreachable tribes in the U.S. There was a great competitiveness between this board and the American Baptist congregation. We will see next how the Southern Baptist focused more on international evangelism.